Okay, friends, now it's time for us to practice our verse. Are you ready? Come and follow me, Jesus said. Matthew 4, 19. Okay, let's try that one more time. Come and follow me, Jesus said. Matthew 4, 19. Talk to you soon. Bye. It is it's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. A beautiful day. I got a wonderful Oh, hey, I'm Lucy. And these flowers we planted are making me so happy. They light up the whole clubhouse. Where do you think would be the best place to put them? Oh, I know. <laughs> I love these flowers. They make my fuzzy wuzzy heart so happy. Hmm, where do you think I should put Devin's flower pot? Aha! Ta-da! The 
is the perfect place for a chocolate chip cookie flower pot. Poppy's flower pot is so super colorful and fun. Maybe I should leave it right here, in the middle of the clubhouse. How's that? Wait a minute, there's only three. Where's Kai's flower pot? Uh, oh, I remember. Kai gave his flower pot to his grandma. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? You've made quite the flower garden. It's true. Hi, Ollie. They're just so beautiful. It makes my heart happy to look at them. It's good to find something we love. Who? Who? And even better to share it with others, too. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Oh, hey friends, all month long, we've been celebrating Easter and how Jesus is alive. That reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Ha <laughs> ha, great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. And done. Okay, now today's true story from the Bible happens on a mountain. Jesus told his friends, the disciples, to meet him on the mountain. Well, here are the disciples, but where is Jesus? Do you see him? When you see him, yell, Jesus, is he over here? What about over there? Do you see him? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Yay, Jesus. <laughs> so Jesus went to his friends, the disciples, and he told them he had an important job for them to do. It's an important job that he wants us to do too. Do you want to know what it is? Say, I want to know, I want to know, ready? I want to know, I want to know. <laughs> Good. Jesus said our important job is to tell everyone, everywhere, that Jesus is alive and we can follow him. Whoa, do you think we can do it? Let's say that together. Jesus is alive and we can follow him. One more time. Jesus is alive and we can follow him. Let's practice. Oh, look, it's Grandpa. Let's tell him Jesus is alive and we can follow him. All together now. Ready? Jesus is alive and we can follow him. Great. It's our neighbor checking her mail. Let's tell her too. Ready? Jesus is alive and we can follow him. Let's do one more. Hey, look, it's our friends playing in the park. Let's tell them, ready? Jesus is alive and we can follow him. <laughs> we did it. Great job, everyone. That's what Jesus wants us to do, to tell everyone everywhere that he's alive and we can follow him. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is alive? Jesus is alive. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is alive? Jesus is alive. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. We can follow Jesus, and we can tell others too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow. Jesus told his friends to tell everyone, everywhere, that Jesus is alive and that we can follow him too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I think these flowers are so beautiful. I can't just keep them in the clubhouse. I want to share, like Kai. And when I give these flowers to my neighbors, I can tell them that Jesus is alive. 
Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. Hey friends, now it's time for us to write in our prayer journal. I have mine here. Grab a piece of paper or an old notebook and let's get started. Jesus asked 12 men to follow him and they became his closest friends, the disciples. Jesus wants us to follow him too. That's why I'm going to ask you to write your name in your prayer journal today. I want to pray that we will all follow Jesus. You did a wonderful job writing your name. Thank you for doing that. Let me write my name because I can follow Jesus too. Okay, now it's time to pray. Are you getting your bodies ready? Okay, when you're ready and you have your body still, join me in talking to God. Dear God, thank you that my friends get to come to church um, and hear about how much Jesus loves them. Thank you that they get to hear that Jesus wants to be their friend forever. I pray that each child will follow Jesus because he is, his, he is the best friend we could ever have. And he will always lead us the best way. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen.